Hi, Kiki here, and I'm going to give you an overview of our Unplugged lesson, Debugging with Unspotted Bugs. Unspotted Bugs is a storybook that we have that follows two bug hunters as they try and go through and collect bugs that have escaped uh, before they ruin the big talent show. And this is a fun book because it gives students an understanding of the havoc that bugs can cause and kind of how to spot them by looking for things that aren't quite right and following their trail, tracing their steps to see where things go wrong. It introduces some important questions. For example, uh, what is your program supposed to do? What does it do? What does that tell you? Uh, it also introduces the idea of, is everything correct at the first step? Is it correct at the second step? Where does it go wrong? And by analyzing their code in this way, they'll start to learn how to find and fix mistakes, which as you can tell is crucial to programming. So we front load this and make sure that students understand the idea of fixing mistakes before we launch them into programming. That way they don't feel stuck and confused when it comes time to write their own code. At the end of this lesson, we recommend that teachers take their own creations, which are these marble run projects that students will be doing later on uh, in the program, but they take their own creations and introduce a bug to it. So if there's two pieces to their marble run, maybe they have uh, them switched, or maybe they have one in the wrong direction, or maybe they have an obstruction in one of them so that the students need to figure out where the problem is and follow those debugging steps together to see if they can solve the issue. And that's really it. That's the point of this first lesson. It's nice and easy. It's a fun lesson to do together as a class. And depending on how long the debugging takes at the end, you could potentially have time to run right into the next lesson. Check out the lesson plan, give the lesson a try, and please, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below or tweet me at Kiki versus IT. I will see you in the next video. Happy coding.